Yeah. Yes. Isaiah 49, verse 1 through 5. And then we're going to skip down to verse 16. You may not have to stand because I want to be extensive. I, I believe in being able to release something before we get to the excitement. Amen? Amen. So the Bible declares, listen, O isles, unto me. And hearken all of you people from far. The Lord has called me from the womb. Uh -huh. From the bowels of my mother has he made mention of my name. All right. And he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand has he hid me. And made me a polished shaft. In his quiver he has hid me. And he said unto me, You are my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord and my work with my God. And now says the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Yeah. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord. Yeah, and my God shall be my strength. Yeah. And my God shall be my strength. Yeah. Okay, this is for me. And my God shall be my strength. Verse 16, Behold, I have graven you upon the palms of my hands. And your walls are continually before me. Uh, over in the midnight hour, I began to pray to God. And while I was in service, the Lord began to speak to me. And he wanted me to tell you, if you would look at someone, just tell them, you are God's plan. You are God's plan. And he is working the plan. And he is working the plan. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's the argument. I wish you would look at another person because sometimes we fall into a crunch where it seems like God has forsaken us and that God is not uh, going to use us like we, he promised he would use us. But look at someone else and say, you are God's plan. You are God's plan. And he is working the plan. He is working the plan. Uh -huh. The reason being, he said, he said I, I heard a statement times ago that if you fail to plan, then fail. If you fail to plan, then plan to fail. If you fail to plan, then plan to fail. Uh, but it was so unique when I read the scripture because it assured me that God never failed. Uh, if you know that God will never fail, I wish you would just say God will never fail. I understand of the world. Yeah. See, first of all, God is speaking to Zion, letting them know that his love is as a child growing up in the womb. Uh, the problem is we're so busy trying to birth babies until we don't remember that God still have us in the womb trying to form, perform works upon us that he promised uh, before the foundation of the world. God and his love is so deep until he will gladly give up other people in exchange for you. I guess you can say well how can this be so because he loves everybody yes but there's a special kind of love for his people and first of all he wants you to understand he will give an exchange for who you are because Time. 
when you are not deserving of oh, his God. glory. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, I'm, I, 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 I know we have a problem because we think we deserve God's glory. We think we deserve uh, his anointing, but I came to tell you that God will anoint who will ever avail themselves to him. He don't hold back himself from anybody, but, but, but the problem is
with yes. us yes, come on, come on. Come on. using yes. the power of God for our own benefit. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm having a problem because when they tell you we've done so well in the kingdom, then we look down on other people. Maybe I should turn my back, but they don't let nobody hurt you while I'm up. Yeah. Uh -huh. 